three-year-old Nikki was jealous when her new baby brother slept peacefully in the little cradle that she had once slept in. Ever since the birth of her little baby brother, her family had frequent guests and visitors come in and fuss over the baby, obsess over his soft hair, tiny fingers and compliment her parents. Needless to say, Nikki did not like it at all. For three years, Nikki had her parents' complete love and attention and obviously she didn't want to share it with this newcomer. So one day, she wandered away through the streets around her house, not paying any attention to where she was headed. Probably, she subconsciously wanted to get away from the scene where her brother was the center of attention. She continued to walk farther and farther away. In a few minutes of wandering, she realized she didn't know where she was. She was surrounded by strangers and she was lost. Now, she started to look for her mom and dad and had no idea how to get back to them. Eventually, however, her parents found her and out of sheer concern, they scolded her. Why did you step out without our permission? Don't you have any sense? Nikki didn't speak a word. She was still feeling paralyzed and shocked at the thought of not knowing how to get back. She felt so stupid. For her, being found brought about mixed feelings of relief and regret. Regret because she thought she shouldn't have been lost in the first place. Unlike earthly parents, our God is the perfect father. He is the source of all comfort. For the Bible reminds that He is the God of all consolation, who consoles us in all our affliction. Remember, God allows us to go through trials so that we in turn can give comfort to others. So let us be sensitive to reflect the character of God to others and to comfort them with the same comfort that has been so freely given to us.